Hey, Walking Dead fans, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to do a video. I did it a while back, way back when I first started the channel uh, on human nature. So I went ahead and made that video private and I'm going to redo it here and mainly just because of today and the times that we're in. I think it was back at the end of January, I did a video called Breakdown of Society and it was flagged by YouTube because I said the name of the virus, which I'm not going to say it at this moment, but I just mentioned the name pretty much and I think I had it in the description and I got flagged. So that was weird to me that they were flagging videos that talked about it back then. But that video was on the breakdown of society as far as watching China at the time because it hadn't reached America. It hadn't even reached Italy and Spain and some of the other countries that got it pretty bad, but U.S. is getting it pretty bad and it hadn't got here yet and the way they talked it wouldn't get here because we were so prepared right which of course we were not but a flagged video it doesn't show up in the browse or uh, suggested videos and those are some of the ways i get most of my traffic actually so some of the videos that get flagged you may not ever see come across your radar because youtube won't show it to you in a suggested video or even while browsing but this is a human nature video, just talking a little bit about human nature and mostly the zombie apocalypse. And we're not going to get that bad. We're not going to break down. Society will not break down like it did in The Walking Dead, of course. But we're seeing elements and traces of the effects of the breakdown of society in different ways. People losing their jobs in the ripples. You know, at the time of making this video, we're still, I don't even know if we've reached the middle of the pandemic and just the job loss and things that, that are going to ripple outside of that. Even when we come out and get back to normal and things maybe have a, a vaccine or a tr good treatment or something, there's just going to be a lot of things changed and things may not go back to what we used to call normal. Uh, things may not ever be normal anymore or for a long time. But I wanted to redo this video on human nature, just a little piece, just something talking about these days anyway, something that we're all dealing with, not only the virus, not only the uh, government and our workplace and home and family and just everything we're dealing with in all of that is human nature. In the long history of humankind and animal kind too, those who learn to collaborate and improvise most effectively have prevailed. Charles Darwin. In most zombie films, or as The Walking Dead calls them, walkers, we meet characters usually as the outbreak begins. As the film goes on, we see them go through horrifying odds of survival. AMC's hit show and its origin, a graphic novel by the same name, is not about walkers. It is about human nature and what links a person will go to to survive. It uses walkers as a minor plot device. So characters are under a constant barrage of threats. If the walkers are not after you, other people, hunger, weakness, and emotional stress threats are just as common. Daily survival, not knowing what tomorrow may bring, or if you will find food or shelter, that would be a very weighing thing on people used to light switches and fast food and freezers. People are put into situations that make them make decisions they would have never made before or dreamed of before. People at a survival point like that, that's when true nature comes out. In this safe and easy lifestyle we live now, what we consider just and right and moral, all that starts to blur and change during an apocalyptic setting. You would risk your life and security each time you try to help some stranger or accept them into your group. In The Walking Dead, you'd be on the lookout for bad intentions or a zombie bite. But, you know, this C-19 virus is a good example that shows some things can't be seen, such as someone with C-19 that does not have symptoms but would spread it to your group or family if you let them near. In order to survive, people do things so bad that they begin to lose their humanity. So why do some people during a crisis turn violent, selfish, distrustful, or murderous? while others stay morally positive. The governor's backstory is a good example of how a person can change 180 after a series of horrifying events. Before the outbreak, people had jobs, money, homes, food, and most of all, safety. Take those things away and human nature comes out true in people. Because once food and shelter are not as easy to come by, humanity breaks down to the basics. But on a positive note, The Walking Dead is an extreme side of human nature. 
if some kind of crisis did happen, based on history, humans have a pretty good record of banding together, much better than in the show. Sure, there will be bad guys, bad groups, and lots of obstacles, but overall, humans will be back up and running again, because we are all in this together. So thanks for watching, guys. It's all about staying positive, staying home, staying safe, and let's get through this, flatten the curve, and get on the other side. Let's get back to normal or what we want to call normal and be able to go listen to some bands and watch a movie and eat in a restaurant and hang out with friends again. This is James in Nashville, USA. Stay safe out there, world. And as always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more dead stuff.